Thank you so much for watching On Call for All Kids. Today, we're going to talk about how to help your child swallow a pill. We'll be discussing the best age for kids to start pill swallowing, how to practice this skill at home, and alternatives if your child struggles with this skill. I'm joined by Katie Grabowski. She is a child life education specialist at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. And it's great to see you, Katie. How are you? I'm doing great, Ashley. Thanks so much for having me here today. It's really great to talk with y'all. Yeah, well, this is a great topic. So swallowing a pill can be tricky for kids. It's a skill you gain kind of like riding a bike or writing your name. So I'm glad to have you here and walk us through some tips for parents. Let's first start with what's kind of a good age to get kids acclimated with this? Yeah, we find that roughly around age four, when kids are starting to learn to be able to follow directions or when they're kind of showing some hesitation to medicine that's not necessarily the best tasting, this is a great opportunity to take advantage of that moment. It's also this time when kids really wanna replicate the actions of their parents and be those little masters. And so if they see their parents or a caregiver learning to swallow pills, they're like, gosh, I really wanna learn that too. So what supplies will we need at home to practice with them? Hmm, sure. Um, kids actually love this concept because we typically recommend that parents use candy to help teach their kiddos. Um, and so we start with things like um, very tiny either sprinkles or, or nerd candies. And then we kind of encourage you to um, gradually go up. So whether that be a Tic Tac or a mini m and m even a, um, a normal size M&M and ultimately to a Mike and Ike because all of these different size candies represent different sizes of pills or medication. And the rationale for using candy um, is just that we don't ever want children to take any more medication than their bodies actually need to. Um, for those of you who have kids that are trying to live a healthier diet, a, non a great alternative is to cut up pieces of an apple into very tiny little segments and have them practice that same way. So what is the process then once you have the pill that you're going to practice with or your fake pill, what's the sure. process after that? Sure. We actually encourage kids to practice the idea of drinking first. And so we tell them to sit up straight in a chair and take a glass of water, imagining that they're coming inside from a really hot Florida day, which goodness gracious knows we all have tons of those. And so practicing the idea of taking three gulps directly in a row, so gulp, 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 before putting their cup down, rather than trying to take a sip, pause, take a sip and pause. And so taking those three sips in a row kind of creates this little river, so to speak, that kind of will help something go down to the back of your throat. And so after they've mastered that idea, keeping their head nice and straight, we ask them to kind of put a candy or a sprinkle on their tongue, roughly in the middle to the back of it, and then try to forget it's there while practicing that same skill of drinking because we find that most times kids are actually able to swallow that pill or sprinkle, whatever it happens to be on the first try. And then gulps number two and three are actually there just kind of as a backup plan. Gotcha. What are some things to watch out for as a parent during this process and practice? Yeah, sometimes kids have this tendency to um, take that sip and then put that cup down or they try to take a big sip and then they almost fill up their cheeks kind of like a little chipmunk. And that sometimes causes that candy or that medication to bounce around a little bit in their mouth instead of going down the way they want. Um, those are kind of your most common tendencies. We also sometimes see a kid will put the candy in their mouth and then drop their head a little bit which actually causes it to go forward in their mouth and not necessarily stay in the same place that we want it to. But Katie, if my kid is just, it looks like they're not ready to swallow pills, what are some alternatives for them? Yeah, sure. We always recommend taking your child's lead because by all means, they're going to kind of help guide you to tell you when they're ready or not. Um, if they're not quite there yet, we encourage you to can talk to your pharmacist to see if your medication can be combined with something like an applesauce or a pudding. Lots of times capsules can be open or the pill itself can be cut and then combined with that to make that concept a little easier because kids are already used to taking a spoonful of something else in many cases. Um, we also find that continuing to practice that skill kind of on a daily basis in short, maybe 20 minute segments before they get frustrated, it's gonna help kind of lead them to success ultimately. Cause just as you said, it's very much like riding a bike or writing your name for the first time. All right. Well, this is some great advice, Katie. Thank you so much for joining us and teaching us how we can help our kids learn that skill of swallowing a pill. Absolutely, Ashley. Thanks so much for having me. 
And thank you all so much for joining us today. Don't forget, you can also check out our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. You'll find a lot of other great topics in pediatric healthcare and other resources for your family. We'll see you next week.